project. I feel like I've been working on this project for such a long time <laughs> and there's no real fa fast and hard deadlines for her to be done. It's this is really a nice to and a nice for me to create. But there are just things that are just eating in her way, like actually real deadlines. I've actually had a couple of real deadlines this week. And so it's pulled me off of finishing this personal project. And, and I have two personal projects. I have this lady that you've been seeing me tinker with, with some oil pastels and a vessel that I have been building and sculpting for now, I would say three weeks. Um, I'll sculpt a little bit, I'll let it dry, I'll, I'll put a finish on it, um, I'll let that dry, and then a couple of days will go by, and then I come back to it and I realize, huh, I want to do, I want to do a little bit more. And I just sometimes, sometimes, rarely feel like I never get things done. So <laughs> this video is you're behind the scenes for you it's going to take like five seconds and you're going to see everything that i've gone through to try to work on a project relatively from its beginning and relatively towards its end and it does there are some projects that kind of do take some time and it's it's quite so it's quite normal um it is often best to work up against a deadline because then you you know, you have to finish it. The client is waiting for it. on a particular painting and a particular sculpted vessel for now weeks and it's really surprising me because typically I would have had this these bad boys done um, but I think it was good of me to come on here and to be honest and saying I don't always produce items as fast as you think that I produce them things take things take time and things do come up. Unexpected personal events happen. Um, social events are constantly going on. And I just always feel like I need a rest. Um, and so I definitely don't want you guys to be under the impression that I am knocking out all this artwork all the time. I'm certainly not. I am certainly taking days and weeks and I am layering one piece after another. And I change my mind sometimes. For example, I'm working on a particular vessel right now, like it's being sculpted, I'm adding layers to it, and I am also working out its color structure that I'm going to end up being, and I'll start down a path, and then I'm like, you know what? This is not the path that I wanna take. So you know what I do? I take a pause, I take a day, or I take two days and I step away from it. And when I come back to the studio, I look at it again and I say, okay, I think I know the direction that I'm going to. And sometimes you can get so close to a particular painting that it starts getting messy and it starts getting overworked. And so when I feel like I'm overworking a subject right now, and I feel like I'm particularly working overworking this particular subject with this oil pastel, I step away. And I say, okay, you need a break, you need to reassess.
the finished products. Thank you guys for joining Good Company Art Space with me. Um, this time around, we did together a soft oil pastel as well as one of my hand sculpted paper mache vessels. These um, items um, could be seen up close and personal at um, a nearby Fairfield County retail location. Check your emails for where you can find them or just email me.